Delving into the life of the renowned music artist, Paul Simon, one cannot overlook his relationship with the iconic actress, Carrie Fisher. Their bond, a unique amalgamation of artistic excellence and Hollywood glitz, fascinated fans and the media alike. We will explore the various stages of their relationship, from its charming beginnings to the complications that eventually led to their split. Furthermore, we will examine Simon's reflections on Fisher in the years after their separation, offering insights into the nuances of love, fame, and the human experience within the chaotic entertainment industry. Let's embark on this journey through the lives of these two legendary individuals and the lasting impact they've made. In the 1970s, the paths of two talented individuals crossed, leading to a unique connection between the music artist Paul Simon and actress Carrie Fisher. Both were already successful in their respective fields. Paul Simon as a celebrated musician and singer-songwriter, and Carrie Fisher as a rising star in Hollywood. Their shared backgrounds in music and acting created an initial bond, filling their early interactions with artistic collaboration and mutual admiration. As they grew closer, it became evident that their talents complemented each other perfectly. They began working together creatively, often combining elements of music and storytelling in innovative ways. For instance, during one of his shows, Paul Simon invited Carrie Fisher to perform a humorous sketch alongside him, highlighting both their comedic timing and natural chemistry on stage. This performance demonstrated the power of their combined abilities and solidified their status as a dynamic duo. Their professional partnership eventually blossomed into a romantic relationship, further strengthening the ties between them. Although the details surrounding the nature of their romance remain largely private, Many speculate that their deep appreciation for each other's work played a significant role in fostering their emotional attachment. As time went on, Paul Simon continued to support Carrie Fisher throughout her career, attending various premieres and events related to her films and writing projects. Despite the challenges inherent in maintaining a high-profile relationship amidst demanding careers, Paul Simon and Carrie Fisher remained close friends even after parting romantically. They maintained contact over the years, exchanging heartfelt letters and messages that reflected the lasting impact they had left on one another's lives. When asked about their friendship, Paul Simon expressed nothing but warmth and respect for Carrie Fisher, acknowledging the special place she held in his life. To this day, the legacy of Paul Simon and Carrie Fisher's relationship serves as a testament to the transformative potential of creative collaborations and the enduring bonds formed through shared passions. While much has changed since those early days when their worlds first collided, the memories of their remarkable journey continue to resonate among fans and industry professionals alike. Together, they etched out a small yet indelible chapter in the annals of entertainment history, leaving behind a fascinating tale worthy of celebration. Paul Simon, the renowned music artist, experienced a remarkable marriage journey with his wife, Kathleen Mary Chiaverini, their marital union lasted for 12 formidable years, characterized by resilience despite facing intense public scrutiny and pressure from their demanding careers. Simon and Chiaverini first met during the late 1980s when he was already an established musician. Following a whirlwind romance, they decided to tie the knot in 1983. At the time, both partners were navigating high-profile careers, she as a successful writer and editor while he continued his musical endeavors. However, these external factors did little to deter them from nurturing their relationship. Throughout their marriage, the couple displayed incredible strength, standing together amidst relentless media attention and speculation. Despite constant intrusions into their private lives, they managed to maintain a united front, demonstrating impressive fortitude under challenging circumstances. Nevertheless, even strong unions face trials. As time passed, personal issues began creeping into their relationship, exacerbated by the immense pressures brought about by fame. Eventually, after more than a decade together, they made the difficult decision to part ways amicably in 1994. Despite its unfortunate ending, Paul Simon's marriage to Kathleen Mary Chiaverini remains notable due to its longevity and tenacity in the face of adversity. They proved that love could indeed survive and thrive amidst glaring spotlights and professional stressors, albeit temporarily. After parting ways with his wife Carrie, the music artist, Paul Simon, developed a profound appreciation for the impact she had on both his musical journey and personal growth. 
Despite their divergent lifestyles leading to the marriage's demise, he couldn't help but reminisce about their time together with warmth and admiration. Throughout their relationship, Carrie served as a significant source of inspiration for Simon's songwriting, leaving an indelible mark on many of his compositions. Her presence in his life influenced his artistry, resulting in some of his most poignant and introspective works. As Simon's moved forward in his career, he carried with him the memories and emotions tied to their shared experiences. Simon acknowledged that their union was far from perfect, often citing the complications arising from differences in personality and lifestyle choices. However, these challenges also played a role in shaping his perspective and fueled his creative process during their time together. In fact, it was through navigating these difficulties that Simon gained a deeper understanding of himself and honed his craft. Following the split, Simon continued to reflect on Carrie's influence, expressing gratitude for the lessons learned and the unique bond they shared. He recognized how much he had grown as a person and an artist because of her. Even though their paths ultimately diverged, the fondness and respect he held for Carrie remained strong. The music artist's post-marriage musings serve as a testament to the power of love, even when faced with adversity. While Simon and Carrie's marriage may have ended, the connection between them persisted, forever etching its significance into the fabric of Simon's life and work. In her memoir, Carrie Fisher spoke candidly about her relationship with the music artist Paul Simon, describing it as challenging. She acknowledged that her own volatile lifestyle put a strain on their daily compatibility. However, despite these challenges, their connection was undeniably strong, leaving a lasting impact on both of them. The music artist's romantic life extended beyond his relationship with Carrie Fisher. He also shared a meaningful bond with singer-songwriter Kathy Chitty during the early years of his musical career, when he was still finding his footing. Their time together served as inspiration for many of his songs, providing him with emotional depth and creative fuel. Additionally, the music artist had a brief but memorable romance with actress Shelley Duvall, who starred alongside him in the film Annie Hall. This collaboration resulted in one of the most iconic movies of all time, solidifying the music artist's status as a multi-talented artist. Furthermore, the music artist's marriage to singer-songwriter Edie Brickle marked another significant chapter in his life. Their union produced three children, further enriching his already vibrant personal life. Together, they created music that blended their unique styles and perspectives, resulting in a captivating sound that resonated with fans worldwide. In conclusion, the music artist's relationships with Carrie Fisher, Kathy Chitty, Shelley Duvall, and Edie Brickle contributed significantly to his personal and artistic growth. Each partnership brought its own set of challenges and rewards, shaping the music artist into the accomplished figure we know today. Renowned for his successful solo career, and earlier work with Art Garfunkel, Paul Simon's musicianship extends beyond himself, reaching into his family tree. His daughter Lulu, born in 1987 during his marriage to Carrie Fisher, inherited her father's passion for songwriting and performing. At just 12 years old, she contributed backing vocals to his album Surprise. Another child, Adrian Edward Simoneau, was adopted from Grace Jones while married to Brian Eno. While it remains unclear if he followed musically in his father's footsteps, their shared love for exploration and creativity certainly shaped him. Moving on to the music artist's illustrious professional journey, one cannot overlook his early success alongside Garfunkel. As Simon and Garfunkel, they released iconic hits like The Sound of Silence and Bridge Over Troubled Water, earning five Grammy Awards between 1964 and 1975. Post Simon and Garfunkel, Paul embarked on a critically acclaimed solo career, Incorporating global influences into his sound, he produced classics like Graceland, which won a Grammy for Album of the Year. This groundbreaking record also introduced listeners to South African rhythms and styles, broadening perspectives worldwide. Throughout his six-decade career, Paul Simon amassed accolades including 13 Grammys, an induction into both the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Songwriters Hall of Fame. He continues to inspire aspiring artists across generations with his distinct fusion of folk, rock, and international sounds. Indeed, even now, this classic musician's influence resonates deeply within the realms of popular music. In recent years, the music artist Paul Simon has faced some serious health challenges. One of the most notable issues is a sudden hearing loss that he experienced. This unexpected medical condition could have easily derailed his musical pursuits, but the determined musician chose to address it publicly while remaining committed to continuing his craft. 
Simon first revealed his hearing problems during a concert in 2018 when he had difficulty hearing his own voice through his in-ear monitors. Despite being momentarily startled by the situation, he handled it gracefully and even managed to make light of the incident. Later, he opened up about undergoing treatment for the issue, expressing gratitude for regaining some of his lost hearing abilities. This experience didn't deter him from performing live, nor did it dampen his enthusiasm for creating new music. Instead, it seemed to fuel his passion further. Since then, Paul Simon has continued touring and releasing new material, demonstrating resilience in overcoming adversity. Throughout his career, spanning decades and numerous genre-blending albums, the music artist has always shown adaptability in the face of change. His unwavering dedication to music remains evident. Despite grappling with these health concerns, by candidly sharing his struggles, Paul Simon sets an example for others facing their battles, proving that challenges don't necessarily mean the end of one's journey, but can serve as catalysts for growth and persistence. Paul Simon's music has left an indelible mark on multiple generations, owing to his groundbreaking songwriting and genre-blending style. His sound embodies a rich tapestry of influences drawn from folk, pop rock, and world music, creating a unique sonic landscape that continues to resonate today. The musician began his career in the early 1960s as part of the duo Simon and Garfunkel before embarking on a successful solo career. Over the years, he has released numerous chart-topping hits like Sound of Silence, Mistress Robinson, Bridge Over Troubled Water, and Fifty Ways to Leave Your Lover. These songs remain popular classics, cherished by fans around the globe. One of the key elements contributing to Simon's lasting appeal is his ability to weave intricate narratives through his lyrics. He tackles diverse themes ranging from personal relationships to broader societal issues, demonstrating both vulnerability and intellectual depth. For instance, tracks like American Tune reflect upon the complexities of national identity, while others such as The Boxer delve into resilience amid adversity. Through these thoughtful explorations, listeners find themselves connecting with the emotions conveyed in each piece. Moreover, Paul Simon has consistently pushed boundaries when it comes to incorporating international sounds into mainstream American music. By collaborating with artists hailing from various cultural backgrounds, including Brazilian, African, and British musicians, he introduced global rhythms and instrumentation to wider audiences. This openness towards different genres has significantly influenced contemporary music trends, inspiring countless other artists to explore beyond their own cultural confines. Simon's approach to storytelling extends beyond just songwriting. Throughout his career, he has also dabbled in film scoring and theater projects, further solidifying his status as a multi-talented artist. Regardless of medium, his work remains deeply rooted in exploring human experiences and celebrating our shared humanity. To this day, Paul Simon's extensive body of work continues to inspire budding musicians and captivate new audiences worldwide. As time goes on, it becomes increasingly clear that his contributions will persist as a vibrant thread woven throughout the annals of music history. Indeed, stepping into the world of his discography offers a glimpse into the vast potential of artistic expression, encouraging us all to appreciate the beauty found in diversity and unity alike. As the documentary comes to a close, the focus turns to the relationship between the music artist and his fans. With a discography spanning decades, Paul Simon has amassed a dedicated following who have found solace, inspiration, and joy in his music. Viewers are encouraged to take part in a communal discussion by sharing their favorite Paul Simon songs. This invitation serves as a reminder that music has the power to bring people together, transcending boundaries, and uniting generations through shared experiences. Throughout this classic film, we've witnessed how Paul Simon's artistry has evolved over time while remaining true to his roots. His ability to adapt to changing times and explore various genres has left an indelible mark on popular music. As the credits roll, it becomes apparent that engaging with fellow fans can deepen one's appreciation for the music artist's work. By discussing personal connections to specific songs and reflecting on memorable performances, viewers contribute to a rich tapestry of memories and stories woven around Paul Simon's illustrious career. So don't hesitate. Pick up your air guitar, hum along to your favorite tune, and join the conversation. After all, being a fan means being part of something bigger than just yourself. And when it comes to Paul Simon, there's plenty of room for everyone at the table. Born on October 13, 1941, in Newark, New Jersey, Paul Simon grew up in a Jewish family with a love for music. 
His father, Louis Simon, was a college professor and double bass player, while his mother, Belle Stadlin, was an elementary school teacher. As a child, Paul learned to play the guitar and started writing songs during his teenage years. Simon's childhood home was filled with various musical styles, ranging from classical to folk and pop. He often listened to his parents' record collection, which included artists like Aaron Copland, Caruso, and Al Jolson. These diverse genres laid the groundwork for Simon's eclectic taste in music and later influenced his songwriting. At age 11, Paul met Art Garfunkel, forming a duo called Tom and Jerry. They drew inspiration from artists like the Everly Brothers and harmonized beautifully together. Their first hit, Hey Schoolgirl, gained popularity after being played on a local radio station. Although they parted ways temporarily during high school, they reunited in 1963 under their real names, Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel, becoming one of the most successful folk rock acts in American music history. During his formative years, Simon also found inspiration in the works of Woody Guthrie, Lee Belly, and Robert Johnson. Later, he would draw influence from African rhythms, Brazilian bossa nova, and South Asian melodies, incorporating these elements into his unique sound. Throughout his career, Simon has collaborated with numerous musicians and producers, learning from each experience. Notably, his partnership with Roy Haley resulted in several critically acclaimed albums, showcasing Simon's growth as a lyricist and composer. With over six decades dedicated to music, Paul Simon continues to inspire generations of singer-songwriters around the world. Growing up in Queens, New York, Paul Simon found solace in music from a young age. As early as 12, he formed a group with his friend Art Garfunkel called Tom and Jerry. They started performing together, singing harmonies, and playing guitars on street corners. Their love for music was evident even then, but it wasn't until they heard the Everly Brothers that something clicked for them. The duo was captivated by the seamless harmony and storytelling in the Everly Brothers songs. This encounter sparked a newfound dedication within both boys, one that would lead Paul Simon down a lifelong path in music. He recalled later, when I heard the Everly Brothers, I felt like I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Driven by this inspiration, Simon began writing original material and learning various musical styles. From folk to rock, gospel to reggae, he absorbed influences like a sponge. Each new genre added another layer to his own unique voice as a songwriter and performer. By high school, he had already written numerous songs, some of which would become hits years later. Despite facing initial struggles in the industry, including being dropped by their label, Simon never lost sight of his passion. With unwavering determination, he continued honing his skills and pushing boundaries. Eventually, success came knocking with iconic tunes like Sounds of Silence and Mistress Robinson, cementing Paul Simon's place in American music history. Born into a modest family in New York, Paul Simon faced significant challenges when he first entered the music scene. Financial struggles were commonplace during his formative years. To support himself, Simon took up various jobs, even working as a teacher before gaining musical success. The path to fame wasn't easy for him. When Simon initially teamed up with Art Garfunkel, forming the duo Tom and Jerry, record companies showed little interest due to their youthful appearance and lack of experience. Despite being turned down multiple times, the pair remained determined, eventually signing with Columbia Records under a new name, Simon and Garfunkel. Moreover, Critics often dismissed their early songs as simplistic and unoriginal. In response, Simon honed his songwriting skills, drawing inspiration from diverse sources like folk, gospel, and rhythm, and blues. By integrating different genres, he crafted unique harmonies and thought-provoking lyrics that set them apart from other musicians. One notable example is the hit song, The Sound of Silence. Initially overlooked upon its release, it gained unexpected popularity after a radio station played the recorded version while Simon was away on tour. Recognizing its potential, producer Tom Wilson added instrumental tracks without informing Simon or Garfunkel, transforming it into a folk rock classic. This innovative solution propelled the song to number one on the Billboard charts, solidifying Simon and Garfunkel's place in the music industry. References Paul Simon official website, biography, https, www.paulsimon.com, about biography Simon, P, and Garfunkel. A. The Sound of Silence, on Collected Works, Sony Music Entertainment. After teaming up with Art Garfunkel in the late 1950s, Paul Simon found initial success as Tom and Jerry. However, their breakthrough moment came later when they performed under their real names, releasing the hit single The Sound of Silence in 1964. 
This folk rock track showcased Simon's songwriting abilities and propelled the duo to stardom. Simon's solo career took off after he moved away from his partnership with Garfunkel. His third studio album, There Goes Rhyme and Simon, released in 1973, proved to be pivotal. With its blend of gospel, R&B, and pop styles, this record demonstrated Simon's versatility as a musician. Peers like James Taylor praised its innovative sound, while critics hailed it as a significant departure from his earlier work. One of Simon's most influential projects arrived in 1986, Graceland. Combining African rhythms with Western pop sensibilities, this Grammy-winning album transcended cultural boundaries and inspired many musicians who followed. Collaborator Ladysmith Black Mambazo experienced increased international fame thanks to their involvement in the recording. Critics lauded the risk-taking nature of the collaboration, further solidifying Simon's reputation as a musical pioneer. Throughout his illustrious career, Paul Simon has continued to push creative limits, leaving an indelible mark on popular music. He remains celebrated among fans and industry professionals alike for his willingness to experiment and explore new sounds. Even now, his influence resonates strongly throughout the ever-evolving landscape of modern music. Paul Simon's artistic vision is deeply rooted in his ability to draw inspiration from diverse cultures and musical styles. His process often begins by immersing himself in new environments and absorbing different rhythms, melodies, and lyrics. This cultural curiosity has led him to incorporate elements of folk, pop, rock, African, Brazilian, and British music into his compositions. One notable example of this fusion is his groundbreaking album Graceland, which combines American roots music with South African township rhythms. By collaborating with local musicians like Ladysmith Black Mambazo, he created a unique sound that both celebrated and showcased the beauty of South African culture during a time when the country was isolated due to apartheid. Simon's personal experiences also play a significant role in shaping his songwriting. From growing up in New York City to navigating relationships and grappling with existential questions, these themes are woven throughout his discography. In songs like The Sound of Silence, an American tune, he reflects on feelings of loneliness, disillusionment, and nostalgia, offering listeners introspective glimpses into his own emotional landscape. His knack for storytelling extends beyond his own life, as evidenced by his socially conscious tracks addressing issues like poverty, civil rights, and political unrest. For instance, the boxer tells the tale of a downtrodden man fighting against adversity, while me and Julio down by the schoolyard explores racial prejudice through a light-hearted yet thought-provoking narrative. Paul Simon's artistry lies not only in his innovative blending of genres, but also in his capacity to convey universal emotions and stories that resonate with audiences worldwide. Through his extensive body of work, he invites us to explore various corners of the globe, challenging our perspectives and enriching our understanding of the human experience. Whether it's the infectious beats of You Can Call Me Al or the poignant reflections of Still Crazy after all these years, each piece offers a glimpse into Simon's distinctive worldview and singular creative vision. Paul Simon's impact on the music industry remains significant to this day. As one half of the iconic duo Simon and Garfunkel, he played a crucial role in shaping the folk rock genre during the 1960s. Their hit songs like The Sound of Silence, Mistress Robinson, and Bridge Over Troubled Water showcase his unique ability to weave intricate stories through songwriting. Simon later embarked on a successful solo career where he continued to push musical boundaries by incorporating various global influences into his work. His album Graceland, which features African rhythms, became a massive success and opened up new avenues for cross-cultural collaboration in popular music. Industry expert Nolan Feeney notes, Paul Simon has always been eager to step outside his comfort zone and explore different genres, making him a trailblazer who continually reshapes what pop music can sound like. Artists inspired by Simon praise his lyrical prowess and innovative style. Singer-songwriter James Taylor shares, Paul's music taught me about storytelling and craftsmanship. He paints vivid pictures with words while seamlessly blending diverse styles. Moreover, Simon's influence extends beyond just contemporary musicians. His compositions have become part of the Great American Songbook, inspiring generations of performers across various mediums. Broadway star Lin-Manuel Miranda cites Simon as an inspiration behind his groundbreaking musical Hamilton, stating, Paul Simon's storytelling resonates deeply with me. His ability to create captivating narratives within a song is truly remarkable. Throughout his illustrious career, 
Paul Simon has consistently left his mark on the ever-evolving landscape of modern music, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire both listeners and creators alike. With each release, he manages to etch out another piece of himself, forever altering the tapestry of our collective cultural consciousness. Beyond his successful music career, Paul Simon leads a rich personal life informed by diverse interests and values. He has been married three times, first to Peggy Harper, then to actress Carrie Fisher, and currently to singer Edie Brickle. Family is important to him, and he has three children from his marriages. Simon's love for literature often finds its way into his songwriting. His lyrics frequently draw inspiration from books, poetry, and plays. For instance, The Sound of Silence was influenced by a line from poet John Berryman's work. Moreover, he penned diamonds on the soles of her shoes, inspired by a South African novel. Philanthropy plays a significant role in Paul Simon's life. Passionate about education, he established the Children's Health Fund in 1987 with Dr. Erwin Redliner. This nonprofit provides mobile medical services to underserved communities across the United States. To date, it has served over 350,000 children. Additionally, Simon supports environmental conservation. In partnership with the Wildlife Conservation Society, he created the Amazon Rainforest Project to protect biodiversity in Brazil. Furthermore, he advocates for artists' rights through organizations like the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Paul Simon also believes in cultural exchange and dialogue. He participated in the historic Graceland Tour, which brought together musicians from different racial backgrounds during apartheid-era South Africa. Through these endeavors, Simon demonstrates his commitment to social justice and humanitarian issues. Paul Simon's music has left an indelible mark on the industry. With a career spanning decades, he's known for his ability to blend various genres, creating a unique sound that resonates with many. His album Graceland introduced audiences to South African rhythms, showcasing his willingness to experiment and push boundaries. Simon's impact extends beyond his music. He's shown dedication to social issues, incorporating themes of human rights and environmental concerns into his lyrics. This commitment sets a powerful example for aspiring musicians, demonstrating the potential for art to affect change. When asked about his future contributions, Simon remains humble. He continues to write and perform, exploring new ideas and styles. Though he's aware of his legacy, he doesn't rest on it. Instead, he challenges himself to grow and evolve as an artist. For those starting out, Simon offers valuable advice. Firstly, he encourages them to find their own voice. By drawing inspiration from diverse sources, yet remaining true to oneself, one can create something truly original. Secondly, Simon stresses the importance of hard work and persistence. Talent alone isn't enough. Success requires consistent effort and resilience in the face of setbacks. Lastly, Simon advises young artists to engage with the world around them. Social awareness can enrich creativity, providing meaningful content that connects with listeners on a deeper level. In doing so, they may follow in Simon's footsteps, leaving behind a lasting legacy while continuing to shape the future of music. Through a career spanning decades, Paul Simon has consistently demonstrated his passion and innovative spirit. Born in New York City on October 13, 1941, he found early success with Art Garfunkel as the duo Simon and Garfunkel. Their music, filled with harmonies and introspective lyrics, struck a chord with audiences. Post-duo, Paul Simon's solo work was equally groundbreaking. His album Graceland combined Western pop with South African township music, creating a unique fusion that transcended cultural boundaries. This adventurous approach echoed through his subsequent works, where he continued to experiment with different genres and styles. Paul Simon's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. He's been praised by critics, adored by fans, and imitated by countless musicians who followed in his footsteps. Yet, it's not just about the accolades. It's about how he forever altered the musical landscape, pushing boundaries and challenging norms. His story serves as a powerful reminder of the potential when one pursues their passion relentlessly. Creativity and perseverance can indeed craft something truly extraordinary, something that resonates deeply within us all, shaping our lives much like the melodies of a cherished song. As we take time to appreciate the career of Paul Simon, it's hard not to be amazed by his impact on the music industry. With hits like Sound of Silence and Mistress Robinson, he left an indelible mark during the folk rock boom of the 1960s. His partnership with Art Garfunkel gave us timeless tunes still enjoyed today. But Paul Simon didn't stop there. He continued to evolve, exploring various genres such as African rhythms and albums like Graceland. 
This bold move showcases his versatility and willingness to push boundaries in music creation. Now, dear viewers, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Paul Simon's work? Which songs resonate with you most? Share your memories and favorite tracks in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this content with others who might enjoy reminiscing about his remarkable career too. For more discussions on influential figures shaping entertainment, remember to subscribe to our channel. Let's celebrate these creative spirits together. And if you have any suggestions for artists you'd like us to cover next, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Until then, keep listening and sharing the joy of great